Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But, well, we both know that angle is cut off. We can talk to him. Feel like holding a seance? Yeah, if only. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. So, what now? Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be helping McCready out with his quest line. But before we do, I want to go over a few things that I did off screen. Number one, I went and got McCready from Sanctuary. And then I fast traveled over to Diamond City. Talked to Piper and Nick Valentine. And then I went ahead and traveled back over here to Fort Hagen. All right. Now that that's all been talked about, let's go ahead and get started we're gonna pull out our weapon we're gonna come down the scaffolding hang a left over here sounds like we're getting a radiation storm let's go ahead and use some radix Right over here, we're going to have a blood bank. Let's crouch. 
take that spotlight out. Take that bloat fly out. Trying to hit the stingwing, or not stingwing, blood bug. But it kept missing. Let's turn our pip boy on. Find anything useful on him? Oh, that was a legendary? I didn't even realize that. What the heck happened in here? The place is trashed. We're going to go upstairs first. Let's get it on. Is that another legendary? Oh, big, big mistake. It was. Right here we're going to grab the blood clinic key. Then we're going to come over here and hack the terminal. Take him down. I think he's on the other side over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, Mick Creedy will take care of him, hopefully. I'm not going to bother. Let's go in here. We're going to use the blood Let clinic key. Out. Grab ourselves... Some loot. And then more importantly, get the Massachusetts Surgical Journal. Bingo. If you want to hack that terminal, you can. You're going to find a ton of blood packs in here. Seeing that it is a blood bank. We're going to come around this side. Use the key to open up this door. What's that smell coming from? We're going to head downstairs. <coughs> Jesus. They're everywhere. Right here is another key for the blood clinic, just in case you didn't get the one up there. We're going to open up this door. And then loot to our heart's content all these blood packs. Tons and tons of blood packs. Kim Stash, if you want to loot it, not going to bother with it. I mean, I will bother with it, but off recording. I usually come back through all of this stuff and end up... Uh, looting all of it right after I record anyways. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to come out to this road, head west, and then we're going to veer off to this road heading south. We're going to be taking a right here. Heading west, following this broken road. Not much of a road anymore, but it used to be. We're 
we're going to come to the top here. We're going to go into this terminal. We're going to unlock the door. You got to make sure you do that. That way the door is unlocked. If not, you're going to get over there and you're going to be like, what the hell am I doing? Why won't this door open up? Well, you got to open it up by the terminal. Let's go ahead and crouch and we're going to go inside the Boston Marial Shelter. Get rid of our rads and heal up. Grab a stealth boy. Shoot the turret that's way down there. Can kind of faintly see a light off in the distance. If you want to hack that terminal, you can. It'll allow you to take control of the turrets. Well, you're not going to need that stuff anymore. Choose this elevator. We're going to go down. Going down. Whoa, McCready. Whoa. Go ahead and get rid of that ahead of time. Now real quick, if you really want to, you can go backwards through here and that'll lead you to the end of this bunker. Totally up to you. I prefer to take this way. Let's go into this terminal and then open up that door over there. Let's go ahead and loot all of this over here. Grab that bag of cement. Always grab bags of cement. Even if you don't need it, grab it. You're going to need it. Just going to veer off to the right real quick. Nice. Right here we want to get the Boston Mariel Shelter safe key. Right over here is a magazine that I deem completely useless. Excellent. It is an astoundingly awesome tales, but you're going to regenerate one point of health per minute. Now, sure, you see you're going to regenerate one point of health, but per minute. So you have to wait 60, 60 whole seconds before you get one point of health. This is just a garbage magazine. I don't know why Bethesda even put it in here. I could understand like 10 seconds, hell, even 15 seconds, every 15 seconds. But one minute? No, thank you. Garbage magazine. If I didn't need the trophy, I wouldn't pick this up. Right here is where the Boston Mariel shelter key this is where we're going to use it. Which really didn't have that greatest stuff in it. That's okay. 
Not that big of a deal. That's it. We're going to pick the lock on this door right here, and then we're going to listen to our first hollow tape in just a second. Hi, sweetheart. I'm sorry it had to end this way. I tried to build a place where our children could live comfortably. You know, I'm a family man, and know our children come first. I'd do anything for them, even at the expense of taxpayers' money. The mob has broken through, and it's only a matter of time before they reach the lower level. As a last resort to protect our family, I give you I give you myself. Take my body to the people. Tell them I died a coward. Maybe they will leave you in peace. I left the key to the safe with one of the attendants. I, I forget his name. Anyway, goodbye, my darling. I love you and the children so much. It's really sad, but also really messed up that he was using taxpayers' money to build this bunker for his family. I think it's really wrong. By the way, if you can't lockpick the bathroom door out there, you can always pick up the Boston Marial Shelter bathroom key as well. Let's go ahead and hack this terminal and get inside that room. We're going to loot all of this stuff. And then we're going to listen to our second holo tape. Found the mayor in the tub last night. Locked the door before the missus found him. I didn't want her to see him like that. I told her I told her he'll be back soon and not to worry. In the meantime, I told her to take the children down to the utility room in the gym and wait for the all clear. The situation's getting out of control and we're outnumbered. It's only a matter of time before this place falls into chaos. Man. This is a sad story. Up top here is the way that you could come in if you open this up. Which we'll take that way out. Grab that skull. I have a problem, I promise. Let's go ahead and listen to the last holo tape. rodents kill one and two more take its place we used to have a hoop set up in little lamplight Lee Claire broke the darn thing let's go up here be really careful a death claw is going to slide down <laughs> well they're not going to need that stuff anymore if you want to lock pick that ammo box and get some ammunition you can 
Also, there's a fat man over there, but I mean, by now you should have quite a few fat men. Well, if you didn't run in front of me, McCready, you wouldn't have got shot. Let's take this back way. Movement de Hostile sensor reading detected. Grab that bottle cap mine. I knew. Just keep following this down. Or, well, not really down, but around. Engaging. <laughs> Take the elevator up. Going up. Couple more synths to take care of. Destruction of both. Lower limb actuator. Now. Where's McCready? Weird. Let's exit out to the Commonwealth. Okay, just making sure McCready was following me still, because he was, I don't know where he went, he disappeared. We're going to follow the same road down that we took up to the Boston Mariel shelter. Now we're just going to head straight east. Off to the right, we're going to have a couple of rad roaches. Along with some power armor. I'm going to grab up all of this power armor. Hey. What's up? Just dropping some stuff off on McCready. That way we don't become over encumbered. Just keep following this road on down. I see a stingwing over there. Might be a second one. Kinda see it. We took care of it. We're going to hang a right, heading southwest here. Going by Schlut or Schlout. Schlout. Sounded like I said slut. <laughs> Going by Schlut. Good lordy. Don't mind me, everybody. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm feeling eyes on my back. That's how we do things around here. 
I don't know how to pronounce that name either. I'm just saying shit. Now that's what I call a confirmed kill. If you want to explore the Poseidon Reservoir, feel free. Some good loot in there. Now that the Brotherhood of Steel has made it into the Commonwealth, be prepared to see a lot of them. A lot of times they will come and help you fight, or they'll already be fighting people. Take care of these raiders real quick so they don't get in the way. Find anything useful on them? Maybe. There's one more up top here. He's got a rocket launcher, so be careful. You can stand back up. See, I'm way sneakier when I'm not using my pit boy light. As soon as I turn that thing on. It's probably just a settler. <clears throat> Sorry, don't have anything to sell. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. So you can meet up with him and he'll give you the location to Vault 81. But we already know where that's at. And I seen somebody running over here. Gunner, why do you keep walking in front of me? <laughs> uh, we're over at Natick Banks. Be super careful. There's quite a few death claws over here. What a waste of time. We're going to go inside the Natick Police Department and we're going to listen to Eddie Winter's holotape. Which is right here. This is number four. Message to Claire Pazinski. Dinner tonight. Me, you, and Arthur Black. Reservations of uh, seven at the Cornerstone Grill. Don't worry. I'll make sure Arthur's on his best behavior. No stabbing the waiter for a fucked up drink order, like what happened in Charlestown. Even though the prick deserved it. Love you. Eddie Winter, signing off. So normally, you could go in this terminal and it will mark another police station for you, but we already found the police station and got the holotape. So it's not necessary. Let's get rid of that real quick. Oh, that's a Brotherhood of Steel Knight. My bad. Continue doing your thing, homie. Jeez. <laughs> uh, sorry. If you want to go through this whole town, Natick, and explore, you can. We're just going to backtrack heading north. We just came over here for the Eddie Winters hollow tape.
Now we're going to be heading over to the Mass Pike Interchange. There's Schlutz. I don't know how to, I really don't know how to pronounce that. Maybe it's Schult. It's probably Schult. <laughs> uh, I like Schlutz better. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm sorry, everybody. You can click off the video if you want now. Got a blood bug. Got another blood bug that I just missed. Some more power armor. By the way, if you do take the stuff off of the power armor, after a certain amount of days, it will respawn. I don't know how many days, but it will respawn eventually. We'll take the fusion core. All of that. Now I should have a full set of T60, T45, and now I'm just working on the X01. Some mongrel dogs. Staying crouched here because I don't want the raider. Actually, they're not raiders. They're gunners. I don't want the gunners up there seeing me. Poor postman. Bunch of letters. You can read those if you want. They're not really important. There you are. Yo, Psst. time to split up the loot. Take the elevator up or the lift, whatever you want to call it. Come on, McCready. I need you to get on here, bud. Where did you go? Don't fall off, bud. Jesus. You're making me nervous, homie. I'm not even the one sitting on the edge. Be really careful not to fall through that. Like McCready just did. Uh, I guess he is a good example of be careful where you're jumping. Right there is a turret. Take it out. Just take this nice and slow. There is a ton of gunners over here. Who? Let's rock. They do have an assault tron as well, so be really, really careful with that. Saltrons are not fun to fight. <coughs> Go ahead and heal up. Killed Barnes. Mr. Barnes and Noble over there. Ah, I don't think he's that noble. Oh, you made it over here, McCready. Awesome. Must have got that bum leg fixed, huh? I do like to pick up the army fatigues because I like to use them in my settlements. On um, the people that I have guarding. Find anything useful on them? To make them look more like a militant or militia men. Just some role playing. You don't have to do that. Play 
Flight time's over! Surprise contact. Engaging. Ooh, that was super close. Heads up. When you see their face glowing like that, be really careful. I kill you for free. They'll like spit a um like beam at you. Gunners of this place locked down pretty tight. Okay, we're gonna go in this door here. Seeing it said caution, so I'm being careful. And we're gonna grab ourselves another Grognak the Barbarian magazine or comic. Excellent. Move. All right, I think what we're going to do is end the video right over here. This will be a good spot to end. And then when we come back, matter of fact, let me show everybody on the map. When we come back, we're going to be over here by the BADTFL regional office because in the next video we're going to actually start the automatron dlc okay now that i said that i want to start oh nope 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 we need to talk to mccready i apologize hey what do you want hey well this should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back i'm sure they heard you loud and clear definitely for the gunners it's always about the bottom line they just lost this entire way station, and that cost them big. Besides, they have no way of knowing I was involved. Anyway, I guess I owe you a favor now. After all, you hired me, but I'm the one that dragged you out here. You don't owe me. You clearly needed the help. Sure, but I like everything to remain nice and even. And you're one up on me. Tell you what, I'm going to give you back the caps you paid me in good neighbor. I'll still stick with you because that was part of the original deal, but now we're even. There you go. I guess we're done here. Lead on, boss. Okay, now we can end the video. Sorry about that. I almost forgot to talk to McCready, and I would have had to do that in the beginning of the next video. And yeah, that's all a mess. So anyhow, with all that being said, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.